Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to be continuing on our new series, File Input. So let's just go ahead and get after it. So what the function we're going to look at today is File Input Input. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you're new here, thanks for joining us. This is what we do. We do micro videos. We do one video upon another. So let's bring this in and we're aliasing this as fi so the subject so just for um to be completely circular in this if there's anything that i'm not talking about we have already done a video on that so if you don't know what this is this is aliasing and there is there are videos for that and also just to let everybody know to stay tuned until the end of the video to check out these right that will pop up right here because there's probably a good chance you've not seen them with over 820 29 28 30 something like that all right uh let's just keep going so we run dir on fi we see all of these functions and today we are going to be looking at input so now we run help on fi.input. Make sure you can see that. Okay, so file. So the whole purpose of this is, is how to handle more than one file at one time. So we know, we know about open. We know that we can go in and isolate and just go one file at a time through and through and through. Now with file input, you can handle multiple files at one time. As you see right here, the first, our first optional argument, our default argument is none, but we're gonna pass it. We're gonna go ahead and create a list. So files equals, and I'm just gonna copy this. Anybody knows I hate copying, but this isn't code. This is just a list of things. So it's gonna be three text files, text underscore one dot text file, two and three. So here is the syntax of how we do this. So we still use our context manager. So for fi.input, just like we have over here, um, return an instance. So now this is going to create an object. All right, then we're gonna pass in files, close this out as f. Now, now so this inside this then we're going to loop through because we made one file object here so now we're going to go through and look at each file so now for line in f print line all right so now now let's run this and see what we have so i just have some very generic uh uh, files one, two, and three. So let's go ahead and bring these up. Okay, so I did a whole bunch of spaces here, but it's hi, how are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. And then a whole bunch of returns, and then uh, how are you? So uh, a whole bunch of extra lines. But this is just like we do here a micro video, just enough to wet your whistle. And uh, we're, of course, going to build on this and, and look and see what we can do to save, save time, to save code, to just really think of in a big, big, big picture. But like I said, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for watching. Stay all tuned all the way to the end. Uh, please drop any comments, questions, video requests. Check out down in the description below for the um, Discord server link. I think we're up to 110, 109, something like that. Uh, great, great resource. Um, was really challenged to get that around, get that up and going. Uh, it's a great community to ask any questions that you may have gaps uh, for, because I even though these micro videos are being made, I completely understand that there are still gaps in my explanation. And that just helps me, so it gives me video ideas, helps me understand where the narrative is in people's learning um, because this has evolved over almost four years. So, all right, I know I'm rambling now, but just greatly appreciate the community and um, just make sure you guys always know I appreciate how much I appreciate you guys being here. So thanks for watching, stay tuned, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Hey guys. 
Thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us and we hope to see you next time. Bye guys.